So today let's talk about quotient rule, product rule and chain rule. Tomorrow is Thursday. Friday I don't think I'm going to teach you, but I, I think tomorrow I'm not going to teach you. I'm going to ah no, okay I'm going to teach you. Okay. So guys, let's start let's begin our discussion with um Mm, product law. Product law. Let's say you have a function. If you have got a function f of x is equal to u times v, then f prime of x is equal to u prime times v plus u v prime. This is the standard formula for product law. Let's say we have been given a function um, 2x plus 1, 3x squared plus 4. Then we want to differentiate this. So here there are two form there are two functions. This is a function on its own. This is also a function on its own because there's a we have got brackets there. So you do this, you say let u to be equal to 2x plus 1, meaning our u prime, u prime is the derivative of u, our u prime is 2. Then you say let v be equal to 3x squared plus 4, meaning v prime will be equal to, the derivative of 3x squared is what? 6x. Using this formula, just plug in the values. So using this formula, meaning our uh, y uh, f prime will be equal to what is u prime? u prime is two. Open brackets. What is v? V is three x squared plus four. Plus what is u? U is um two x plus one. What is v prime? V prime is six x. So this is my answer. Is that okay? Another example. Are you guys getting me? Kiri, are you getting me? Okay. So you ask when you have got a question. So let's say we have f of x to be equal to x to the power 6, open brackets, 2x to the power 3 minus 7. So in this case, what is our u? Let u be equal. What will be our u in this case? I'm asking guys, what will be our u? Let's do first. In this case, our u is x squared, x to the power 6. Our u prime is going to be 6x to the power 5. Meaning our v is what is in the brackets. Then v prime, the derivative of 2x squared is 6x squared. Or 2x to the power 3 is 6x squared. The derivative of 7 is 0. Using this formula, I'm going to plug in the values u prime is 6 x to the power 5. What is our v? Our v is 2 x to the power 3 minus 7. Plus what is our u? x to the power 6. Our v prime is 6 x to the power 2. If you want you can simplify further but if you want again you can or you can expand further but if you want you can just end there. If you want, you can put this one is the same as 6x to the power 8. This one. So that is it about um, product law, unless you have got questions. Okay. Kashete shete sausa nyama. So, 
silent means a lot. One, it can mean you have understood. Two, it can mean you can't understand anything. But in either cases, it's fine. But in, let's now talk about chain law. So, <coughs> chain law, it goes like that. Let's say you have a function f of x equal to u raised to the power n. Okay? Raised to the power n. So the derivative of this will be equal to you drop the power n times u then n has to reduce by 1 times the derivative of u. This comma formula is just making sense, guys. Let's say we have an example. Let's say we have um, 2x minus 1 raised to the power 3. So you drop the power, f prime of x, you drop the power, which is going to be 3. You keep this constant. The power reduces by 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. Divide times the derivative of what is inside. What is inside is 2x minus 1. So what is the derivative of 2x minus 1? It's just 2. My final answer becomes 3 times 2 is 6. So this is my final answer. <laughs> Another example. Until someone is going to ask, that's when I'm going to... Yes, please. Emmanuel, your video, your video, your video is on. You can just turn it off. Emmanuel, study. Thank you. Another interesting example. Let's say we have f of x is equal to two x squared minus x raised to the power 5. How do we differentiate this? f prime of x will be equal to, you drop the power 5, keep this constant the way it is, then the power reduces by 1 to be to the power 4 now, times the derivative of what is inside. Inside I've got 2x squared minus x. What is the derivative of 2x squared? Is 4x minus derivative of x is 1. This becomes my final answer. So under chain law, if yes, please. No, this one you don't have to use that because we are only dealing with one thing. We only we use the b prime and u prime under product law and the quotient law. Is that okay? But if you want, you can do the same. It's fine. You can say, if you want, you can say, let u be equal to 2x squared minus x. Then u prime will be equal to 4x minus 1. Then you plug in using this formula. It's fine. Yes, then you say f prime of x will be equal to my n is 5. Then you open the brackets. Your u is 2x squared minus x. n minus 1. n is 5. 5 minus 1, 4. Open brackets. What is u prime? u prime is 4x minus 1. Then you are done. It's fine. I think that would be better. You are not going to be confused. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. So now, um, here the questions which I have, I think the question which we can do use chain rule dialect is just question four. This one, let's use it. Using the concept I've given you, the question is y is equal to 3x to the power 3 minus x squared raised to the power that. So we we'll say 
let u be equal to 3x to the power 3 minus x squared meaning our u prime is um, 9x squared minus 2x are we together there? using the formula we know that n is equal to 6 n minus 1 is going to be 5 minus or 6 minus 1 which is 5 so you just plug in the values using this formula f prime of x is equal to what is n? n is 6 open brackets what is u? 3x squared minus x squared what is n minus 1? is 5 open brackets what is the u prime? u prime is 9 x squared minus 2x so for this question I've solved is it hard guys? Hmm? Uh -uh. You, you yeah, I'm going to, 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 to post the recorded class you'll be able to access Is that okay? Let's move. Yes, 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 yes. So now let's talk about the last guy, which is um, um quotient rule. So um, quotient. You know the spelling for quotient. I think I don't know it. I think up to, to I think it's supposed to be like I don't know if it's like that quotient rule so if you have got f of x to be equal to uh, u over v so the common formula is very simple and straightforward u f prime is going to be u prime times v minus uv divided by v prime v squared this is the standard formula for quotient rule for example let's say we have got f of x to be equal to yes supposed to be prime thank you i forgot then f of x is going to be equal to Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to give an example. Let's say we have like that. So you have to say let u be equal to the top part, meaning u prime is 2, v be equal to the denominator, and v prime be equal to 2x. Using the formula, f prime will be equal to we just plug in the values what is our u prime u prime is 2 open brackets what is our v our v is x squared minus 1 minus what is our u our u is 2x minus 1 then what is our v prime our v prime is 2x we divide it by v squared the v is just x squared minus 1 but we square it that becomes my final answer Let's go ahead and solve this. So in that case, that question which you have there, we can clearly see that our u will be equal to x squared minus 7x plus 4. Our u prime will be equal to 2x minus 7 then our v will be equal to x to the power 3 plus 2 our v prime will be equal to 3x I hope no one is behind now so our f prime of x will be equal to we use the formula we just follow this we plug in the values we, u prime is what? u prime is 2x 
minus 7 what is our v our v is um, x to the power 3 plus 2 minus what is our u our u is x to the power 2 minus 7x plus 4 then our v prime is 3x I divide this by v squared which is just x to the power 3 plus 2 raised to the power 2 that becomes my final answer there's no debate about this one so far we have solved this one we have solved that one before we go anywhere let us go ahead and solve this uh, wait 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 we need first to solve that one now there are some questions which are going to come whereby you are needed to use two rules maybe you are going to use quotient rule or you are going to use chain rule and quotient rule for example maybe sometimes it's going to be product rule and quotient rule for example the first question the first question guys we have is um y is equal to yes oh, i'm a bit faster i'm sorry so y is equal to 3x to the power 3 times the square root of x minus 2 I'm now on time 0 0.5 okay so let me let me let me let me I'm now going to be at 0 0.5 I need to be slow no times two. So this is the question. Now this question, yesterday we were talking about uh, the square root. We said, if I have got the square root of x, it's basically the same as x to the power half. You remember? So if I've got a square root of x minus 1, it's basically the same as x minus 1 in the brackets raised to the power half. Does that make sense, guys? Meaning, I can write this function to be y is equal to x to the power 3, x minus 2 raised to the power half. Who is behind here? I'm now very slow, I think, which is good. So, this question, the way you see it, what, which rule are we going to use for us to differentiate it? Hmm? Based on what we have done so far, which rule do you think we're going to use? Product rule. So here I'm going to use product rule because I've got two functions. I've got this function and that function. So I'll say f prime of x is u prime v plus u v prime. 
So I'll say let u to be equal to x to the power 3, meaning u prime is 3 x squared. Let v be equal to what is in the square root. So v will be this. Meaning, what is my v prime? My v prime, I drop the power, I keep this, the power reduces by one, one half minus one, it is negative half, times the derivative of what is inside, inside is x minus two, is one. Who is behind on how I've, I've differentiated this one, v? I've used now chain rule to differentiate v. You have seen it? Okay, so using this formula, this will be equal to u prime is um, 3x squared u prime is 3 x squared what is my v? my v is um, x minus 2 raised to the power half plus my u is x to the power 3 my v prime is um, I can even put it here half open brackets x minus 2 raised to a power negative half times 1 so 1 I'll just leave it now here listen guys I'm not going to end there I'll say this thing we had to write it but there is a square root where there is 1 to the power 2 there at power it's the same as the square root so this is the root of x minus 2 plus so this is the same as x times that one is going to give me x to a power 3 or to a power 3 divided by 2 but again I've got him x minus 2 raised to the power half who can remember this yesterday we were talking about if we have 2x to a power negative 4 it's basically the same as what who can remember It's the same as 1 over 2x to the power 4. Are you sure? Okay. Let me not confuse you. What is, um, what if I've got just x to the power negative 4? It's the same as what? If I want to put it in fraction. Guys, we did this yesterday. E. Anyway. Okay, so I'm saying, so this I'm going to write it like this, 3x squared, the root of x minus 2, plus, this will go on top, the moment I put this one on top, meaning this negative has gone, that's what we said yesterday, even if you are failing to, so it will be like this. to break that. At the same time, I can go ahead and finish it like this. Minus 2, then plus. It will be x to the power 3. 
this one has got a, this stays with power half so it's the same as the square root so I'll put it like this x minus 2 so that becomes my final answer so that's my final answer for that question for this one and now we can see that we're remaining with two, two questions only don't worry I'm going to give you questions you are going to answer let's go to question 3 we go to question 3 and question 3 is saying given that y is equal to that so I will write this this is the same as the square root of 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 now in the square root it's the same thing at the same time I can also rewrite it and say is 2x minus 1 raised to the power half and divided by x plus 1 raised to the power half when I reach at this point which method are we going to use for us to differentiate this one quotient rule thank you so quotient through we said u prime v minus u v prime divided by v v squared so we come here and say what is my u my u is 2x minus 1 raised to the power half my u prime I'll use now quotient rule sorry chain rule drop the power keep this the power reduces by 1 to be negative half times the derivative of what is inside the derivative of 2x minus 1 is just 2 of which these 2 and that half will definitely cancel our main with 1 meaning my u prime now I will not waste time is just 2x minus 1 raised to the power negative half like that let's go to v v is x plus 1 raised to the power half meaning my v prime is um, I drop the power I keep this constant I reduce this is going to be negative half times the derivative which is just 1 I'll leave it there following this formula just plug in the values f prime of x what is u prime u prime is 2x minus 1 raised to the power half what is my v my v is x plus 1 raised to the power half minus what is my u my u is um 2x minus 1 raised to the power half then my v prime is um i will just do this to make things simple half open brackets x plus 1 raised to the power half like that i divide it by v prime v prime I'll advise you to do this to make things simple for v prime v get this the, the one for square root so it's like now you have got the root of x plus 1 but you are now squaring it okay to simplify it to f prime of x is equal to this since there is negative raised to the power negative half it's the same as 1 divided by the root of okay it's the same as 1 divided by 2x minus 1 raised to the power half of which this is the same as the square root that's why I've just put square root here in case you are confused okay then times that one will just be the square root of put them in brackets so that you should not confuse them x plus 1 put them in brackets minus same applies to this one 
this is basically u so it will just be the root of 2x minus 1 in the brackets that other one is going to be you shift this one to go on top it will be 1 2 will come with this guy it will be 2 x plus 1 raised to the power half which is the same as even if I just put the square root because it's less to the power half then I'll say 2 then the square root like that put them in the brackets divided by if I you square the, the 2 and that one will cancel out I will mean with that so that becomes my final answer the question is, what if you leave your answer here? It depends with the person who is going to be marking your papers. So I'm going to ask you, the people who are teaching you this topic, did they mention of you leaving your answer here or you go further to this point? Hmm? So that's why it is let me let me now mention this. It is also important for you to be especially for math. Yeah, it's also important for you to especially tutorials. Even just yes, tutorials is important because those people are the ones who are going to be marking your papers. So it's important for you to know how they want you to go, the method they want you to okay, the final answer. Some people will sell you tell you say you leave your answer here, I'll give you full marks. Others will tell you to say, you know, you can't leave your answer here because it's complicated. There are some negative there. I mean, I want your answer to be here. So it depends with the lecture. A very last one is also interesting which method do you think we are going to use for us to solve question 5 question 5 can be I can write it to be x plus 1 raised to the power 15 divided by x minus 1 raised to the power 15 where u can be equal to x plus 1 raised to the power 15 And u prime can be, you drop the power, keep this constant, the power reduces by 1, which is going to be 14, times the derivative of what is inside, which is 1. Let v be equal to x minus 1, raised to the power 15. v prime will be equal to, you drop the power, keep this constant, the power reduces by 1 times the derivative of what is inside is 1. Using our quotient rule method, f prime of x is equal to um, u prime v minus u v prime divided by v squared. So it will go, what is our u prime? Our u prime is a 15, open brackets, x plus 1 times 14. What is my v? My v is x minus 1, less to the power 15, minus. What is my u? My u is x plus 1, raised to the power 15. What is my v prime? My v prime is a... 15 open brackets x minus 1 less to the power 14 divide everything by v prime or v squared v squared if i it will be like this raised to the power 15 but again i raise it to the power 2 don't you think it's going to be x minus 1 raised to the power 13 
Ella guys so it will be less to a power 30 so that becomes my final answer that marks the end of the throw sheet 6 unless you have questions so I can say I rest my case Yes, this is for 1100, but I wanted 1120 guys to join because the the concept, this concept, I wanted you to know this concept. Yes. Okay, you can inbox me for questions. If you have questions, I'll be able to get back to you. Let's try to solve more questions like I said yesterday. Yes, I even uploaded on a website and um, uh, if you go on math recorded classes, the last one which is math 11, I even indicated math 1100 but the 4, yes it's there. Yes, I'm going to send just after, I think maybe in the next 10 minutes. Sure, sure. Okay guys, thank you very much. Have a blessed night. See you tomorrow.